uh, damn alarm went off, so I got to do a two-part. So as I was saying, you put yourself in separation, so now you'll have to understand it. I told you in my number system, 34 is the number for God, the thoughts that form creation. So since you are working for the thoughts that form creation, you're not working for yourself as creator. So that means you now become your own cancer. If you hire somebody to do a job for you and then you end up working for them, you're now subservient to your servant. You now succumb to that thought <laughs> that had already fooled you. That three, that thought that had already shown you everything and you're going to succumb to it. Remember what we started with? Succumb is another word for death. Remember what I told you my ADHD was? Basically death, transmutation points. You're going to succumb to what? In the sense of cancer, you're going to succumb to whatever keeps you safe. This is the old school hermit. This is the king of earth. The influence over what's going to keep me grounded. So if it's going to keep me grounded, then I don't want to be free. Holy shit, that happened in this country and in pretty places across the world. It was better to stay enslaved than it was to fight for your freedom. Because it meant death. Even though what you was caught in didn't show you life. Holy shit. But it just took your power. Holy shit, Leo. It just took your power. And now you got caught up in the manipulation. It took your power. We went from the king of earth to the king of fire. Why? Because in this manipulation, the only thing you knew is that you was trapped. Two, knowledge, which you connected to. Four, the trap balance so since i might die if i break the system then i might as well give my power to the system and try and find balance with it when the whole common denominator was in the sense of a gatekeeper stop giving your power to what's only leaving you in balance and then you might be free so the tightest until a leo 88 energy is if you quit giving your power to things that only keep you in separation you might find your wholeness but it's hard because then you get into this Virgo energy where you just like going through the cycles. Well, maybe if I just try it this time, maybe it'll turn out different. And then when it don't work, you come back into them 88 cycles again and you'll try it from the left angle versus the right angle. But the whole problem is you keep on trying. You keep on trying to save what already got you harmed, which means you're harming yourself. Oops. You're harming yourself. You are emotionally invested in the illusion. Look at the word illusion. Ill use ions or either ill us ions. It's a sick us in energy. Or ill use, it's a sick use of energy. An illusion is a sick use of energy because it ain't going to never be real until you invest your reality in it back there at the tours. If you become a martyr to invest in your reality into what you created, you're going to die. You're going to succumb to what you created because it already manipulated your reality. And now, ill use of ions. All you get is illusion. But now you're at Libra trying to find balance. Trying to find balance in what was already less. And now you are starring in less trying to create more. You star in the separation. You star one and seven <laughs> in the potential you that is now an ill use of energy under manipulation that you keep succumbing to because you lost your power as generator, operator, destroyer, because you didn't trust the reality. So you've sacrificed yourself to the idea of change, alchemy. You don't like reality. You just like alchemy. I'm going to put in that work and make a change. Change what? What I see over there, but didn't already show you the answer? Yeah, but I don't accept it. So I'm going to kill it. Scorpio energy. I'm going to kill it. But what was it, you? Fear. The fear, in the sense of a gatekeeper, the fear of connecting to what already ain't showing you enough, in this sense, ain't enough for you to stop the connection. I'm scared. I'm scared to keep giving my energy into something that is just ain't going to work out for me. But I don't know how to do anything different. Damn. 
I'm scared to keep supporting a system where no matter which candidate we choose, they don't never fucking hold up to their promises and they lie in our face and play in our face until it's time to get reelected again. But my dumb ass don't know how to do nothing different, so I'm going to keep on lining up for the same. That fear of stop connecting to what ain't connected to me will have me fucking swimming with the sharks and wondering why the fuck I keep getting eaten. Damn, Scorpio energy. This planet is under Scorpio energy right now. And don't even know it. So, why? You don't even know it because it's hiding. Ophiuchus, it's hiding from itself. A gatekeeper that hides from itself by trying to control what it's going through is one of the worst ones. Those are almost trickster level energies. That is supreme self-sabotage. When you have an, a core memory within yourself or core function in yourself that don't want to see you win because that might mean it will have to do something different. That's a trip up. That's a trip up. <laughs> Love, loads of vast energy. Six, that is the trauma itself. That is a foundation in traumas. It is self-sabotage. It will grab the sword by the hilt and ask you, why am I bleeding? Ophiuchus, the hidden one, battling with knowledge. Knowledge of what? What I love. What do you love? My traumas. Why? Because it keeps me exerting a load of vast energy, but it don't never set me free. But the last part was the most important point. I ain't got there yet. It ain't my time. It ain't my time to sit still. See, so-and-so told me I still got so much more journey. But goddamn, don't you see that that's using you? It's okay. I'm built for the journey. But where are you trying to go? Find me. But ain't you already you? Shh. Get that away from me. Use lies to me. <laughs> Sagittarius energy. Delusional as fuck. Ready to go on a journey to find yourself, but you don't know who the fuck you are. Them gatekeepers will make sure you don't know who you are because you have a high aptitude of energy to help creating safe spaces for the gatekeepers. <sighs> Phoenix energy. Cry. Cry me a river. Create. Emotionally invested. When you cry, you are emotionally invested. This is the 21. Remember, we started with the 12. The 12 said, hey, I'm a martyr. If I can see myself as the martyr, I can set myself free. With this gatekeeper here in the Sagittarius energy, which is also a fire sign, it says if I keep you crying, if I keep you emotionally invested, you won't have time to put out them fires, them Phoenix fires, Aries. You won't have time to put out them fires and see yourself as the goddess. All you know how to do is to keep on moving. The two will become greater than the one. What you are connected to, yourself and separation, will become greater than seeing yourself in wholeness. So in that sense, that Sagittarius gatekeeper says, I don't need you to see yourself in wholeness. I just need you to keep seeing everything I show you. Remember I said a long time ago that some of these gatekeeper, gatekeeper energies will orchestrate experiences around you so that you focus more on them than yourself. Why? Because as long as they can keep you invested into experience, you'll try and master it. Capricorn energy. You will try and master and control what you think has got you in danger without realizing it's just your thought. You'll keep coming over to them thoughts that already got you fooled because you think if you can overcome them thoughts, it'll show you everything. Yeah, it did. It's not a lie. It showed you everything. It showed you you sponsoring your own separation. You sponsoring all these experiences, trying to find the maximum amount of experiences to go through so I can get out of experiences by creating experiences, to go through experiences, to get out of experiences so that I'll have enough experience to stop experience, experiencing itself. Because I'll have all the experience. Which means you just mastered your own separation. Aquarius. You, in the gatekeeper sense, mastered your own separation. Why? Because the only thing you communicated with was the thoughts. So much to the point that you lost yourself as source and as the fool. You don't see nothing. You only communicate with what them thoughts already showing you. Because as long as them thoughts can keep you battling them. You'll never, have, you'll never have time to set yourself free. Which means, as Aquarius, if I'm only battling my thoughts, thinking that they're going to set me free, but I never open the cage, the only thing I'm working for is my thoughts. And my thoughts already told me that they just want to keep me in separation. Pisces. So here's you working for the thoughts and only want to keep you in separation. You gatekeep your own separation. Holy sheep shit. 
You gatekeep your own separation. You become the genie. In my card system, 33, the genie, you become the 33. You become the thought that is only bound to itself, that you won't sponsor your own freeness, your own freedom. But like I said, that's just one side of it. The Pisces energy, you will fight for your illusion, but your reality never left. There is a part of you that is gatekeeping your reality. It's just the other gatekeepers have more energetic uh, foothold because you work for separation. As long as you keep sponsoring systems that are designed to keep you in separation, the systems that sponsor wholeness only get so much energy. They only get so much energy. Why? Because you too busy thinking that they're a trick. You're thinking that they are a trick when it's really just your inner fire trying to guide you back into responsibility. Two, five, only thing you connected to was five, what got you under manipulation. When you are out here sponsoring your separation, when you are out here sponsoring these soul roles, when you are out here telling yourself you this, that, and the other, except for the accountable and responsible being for all of this, when you are telling yourself anything other than I am source, you are only being guided by the systems of separation. And that will keep you in the alchemical process of death because you'll keep on trying to transmute the thoughts that help you keep on creating things to die to or to kill. You'll become, you'll become a part of the game. You'll become a part of the game where you have tricked yourself into communicating with thoughts that already told you all I need you to do is to think and keep coming over to the thoughts that will keep on keeping you invested in creating loads of vast energy because the fear of not having enough will keep you under the illusion and manipulation that you're going to keep on dying to because you don't want to own yourself as G.O.D. It is selfish of you to own your own thoughts so the thoughts own you to the point to where that becomes your reality and now you a martyr to the alchemical process of transmutation but damn that was separation all this shit wasn't real here was wholeness wholeness was your limitation wholeness is what you should fat for wholeness was you with a thought that only told you if you move i'm going to become your trauma you understand that if you move, I'm going to whoop your ass. Some of y'all going to move. All of us did. But we didn't go nowhere. Yet mentally, we won't keep still. 